fight, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. Heavyweight title fight is upon us. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! I am for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger. Mark the Hammer And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce, it's time. Ah! Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this one. Ready. All right, we are underway with this stand-up only fight as we remind you of the rule set here. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are underway. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. To he him. has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at the How's his opponent still standing? I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh! One minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we've got three or five rounds to them. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Three minutes now to go in this one. Strike there by Buffer. Oh, nice 
right hand by the champ. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. There is blocked. Oh, it looks like a cut has just opened up on his forehead now. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Throw that jab. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but not even to find the target. Nice punch here. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Final seconds of the round. Right. Horn out for the end of round one. Right. All right, so that round is in the books. Buffer's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Both fighters got rocked, crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. Oh, oh, oh. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like it's... We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of round number two. We're the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Mark the Hammer. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time. And now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, Oh, by the yeah, way. man. This is volatile. Look, they got a whole bunch of hungry wolves lining up to take that belt. <laughs> 